Alright, uh, in this tutorial I'll show you how to take a weapon off your back or your side or wherever. Uh, you should have record keyframes enabled and you need an action editor in your dope sheet. And you, know, you should probably be a bit familiar with Blender and we need a new layer as well. This uh, is just the stick I made as an example. And what you need to do is you know, make a bone in in the stick or whichever weapon you're animating, and then you duplicate it. and scale it down so then parent the bone in the weapon to the bone you just made with the keep offset and now you parent you select the bone in the weapon in pose mode then you select the object, the weapon, and then again the bone, and now you can parent it as a bone. And now as you can see, if you move the bone, the weapon moves with it. And it also happens with root bone. And just rename that to root bone and handle. Yeah, and now just turn on the other layer with shift click. Or first, you should probably parent the, the root bone of the weapon to the root to whichever bone is closest to where you're gonna have your weapon when it's sheathed. So you select for for me it would be the spine because I'm gonna put it at its hip. And first select the root bone of the stick and then the the bone in your character and as you can see it's moving perfectly. And now you can put your weapon into place. Helpful thing is to turn on only render when checking to see if your positioning is good. Of course, you should still have uh, record keyframes enabled. Now, when you're making an animation, you have to be sure that uh, the same animation is set for both the armature in the in the weapon and your rig for your character. So that for me, that would be idle, and I'll just start animating that and of course you should probably rename this to draw weapon or something similar so something very important is that you go into add add constraint and add child of constraint to the weapon and set the keyframe to zero there you select the the other armature and your meta rig and then the hand and as you can see while well, well, when we're grabbing it it's still zero we put another keyframe there and when we actually grab it we set it to one then click set inverse it's very important because also it's just gonna fly off and then 
record another keyframe there so the frame before you grab it it's still not attached to the hand but uh, when it when it is then it's gonna move with the hand as you can see so here's the animation take it out see you can do the same thing when you put it back in its sheath uh, like except you do it the opposite way the influence is one and then the next frame it goes down to zero thanks for watching subscribe uh, stay tuned for more blender tutorials